Kingdom Hearts 3 is closer than ever to its release on January 29th after a long, long wait since the last core title. Since you chose this video to watch, we can assume that you either pre-ordered the game or intend to buy it when it releases. Whichever the case, we're here for you. Today we'll go over what you need to know before you buy the game and why you should. Before we start, consider subscribing to Segment Next and hit the bell button in order to find more interesting news, guides, and features about the world of video games. Let's not waste any time, I'm Wes Malik and here are 15 things you should consider before buying Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 is console exclusive. Starting off with the obvious problem of all gamers, we have the game availability. If you're a PC gamer, once again you won't be able to play Kingdom Hearts. The game will be available on Xbox One and PlayStation with a very slim chance of it making its way to Nintendo Switch. A PC port of it isn't totally out of question since Square Enix has launched console exclusive titles like Final Fantasy XV on PC at a later date. For the time being though, you'll need an Xbox or a PS4 in order to play the third installment to the series. Comes in four different editions. As we've already covered on SegmentNext.com, Kingdom Hearts 3 will release in four different price ranges depending on the content you want to obtain. This is the second biggest decision a gamer has to make after the platform choice, so make sure to get all the information needed before you decide. Let's go over the four editions quickly. The standard edition costs $59.99 and includes the base game and will not come with any additional goodies. That is, unless you pre-order this version from Amazon to be awarded the Dawn Till Dusk Keyblade weapon in the game. You can also pre-order from the official PlayStation Store, in which case you'll be getting a Dynamic Kingdom Hearts 3 theme titled Impossible Odds. Lastly, pre-ordering the game through GameStop will earn you a fabric poster of KH3. Secondly, we have the Deluxe Edition, which retails at $79.99. Apart from the base game, this edition includes an art book, a pin that you can keep in your collection, and a steel bookcase. This is the most value for money edition, and you even get the same Keyblade weapon if you pre-order this version from Amazon. We know for a fact that this is what we'll get. The special edition, which costs $99.99, serves as a bundle of remastered versions of three previous games and Kingdom Hearts 3 itself. If you're just now getting onto the franchise, this is the best option since you get to experience the whole story without any further purchases in the future. The last edition for Kingdom Hearts 3 is called Deluxe Edition Plus Bring Art Figures and retails at $229.99. As the name suggests, you get all the goodies that come with the Deluxe Edition and get your hands on action figurines of Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Their apparel will resemble that which they seem to wear in the Toy Story world. If you're a collector and a true enthusiast of the franchise, this edition is worth the extra cash. Brings back childhood memories. And by bringing back memories, we don't mean the experiences we had with Kingdom Hearts itself. The franchise is filled with your favorite Disney characters, both old and new. In Kingdom Hearts 3, you'll encounter heroes like Hercules, Jack Sparrow, and more, and also meet new ones like Rapunzel from Tangled and Elsa from Frozen. If this isn't a hard dive into your childhood, then we don't know what is. New Worlds Each Kingdom Hearts game includes a vast variety of Disney worlds, and the third installment is no exception. The Monstropolis from Monsters, Inc. and San Francisco from Big Hero 6 are only two of the new worlds that you get to travel to in the new game. You'll also get to visit the Kingdom of Corona from Tangled and Arendelle from Frozen as we mentioned before. Additionally, in one of the trailers we caught a glimpse of a world based on the Ratatouille movie and a classic kingdom that is basically a minigame inside Kingdom Hearts 3 that is too worth mentioning. Huge cast of characters. The heart of the franchise is the salt and pepper of its setting. The crossover between Final Fantasy and Disney. This means that once more you'll get to see characters that you missed and some that you might not even remember existed in both worlds. Especially if you get the special edition as a newcomer to the franchise, you'll find a new love in this complex yet enticing franchise that millions of gamers have fallen in love with over the past decades. Best Graphics of the Series So Far It goes without saying that Kingdom Hearts 3 will be the best version of the series, graphically speaking. 
From what we've seen from the trailers, the amount of work that was put in this title is jaw-dropping. We love to see past games get remastered so that we can enjoy it in modern graphics, but this transition from the past to high-end gaming left us in awe. We might have been complaining that Kingdom Hearts 3 has taken too many years to get released, but we can all agree that it was worth the wait. Whether or not the plot and gameplay was worth the while, though, remains to be seen, but we expect everything to fall into place when the game releases. Cinematics look better than ever Apart from how the game looks in general, though, we were excited to find out that cinematics as well have made a big leap. The Toy Story and Frozen cinematics we've seen in trailers, for instance, look exactly like the movies, while the ones we've seen of Pirates of the Caribbean are almost like a live-action movie. Also from what we've seen from the final release trailer, the main characters look beautiful without the help of Disney. With such a powerful cinematic experience to dress Kingdom Hearts 3, we bet we'll be content even if the story isn't as powerful as before. Enhanced on PS4 Pro and Xbox One X As expected from every high-end title, Kingdom Hearts 3 will also release with enhancements on Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro. This includes the classic 4K resolution and presumably unlocked frame rates. On Xbox One, the resolution will be native, while it's not clear yet if PlayStation 4 Pro will be able to render 4K at this rate. For what it's worth, expect both versions of the game to follow the pattern of Red Dead Redemption 2, which had very few differences in terms of visual fidelity. Includes a story recap As Square Enix has detailed in the previous months, Kingdom Hearts 3 will not find you unprepared even if you haven't played the previous games. Tetsuya Nomura, the series' director, specifically revealed that there will be ways in Kingdom Hearts 3 to learn the basics of the lore without having to spend hours and hours replaying the previous entries. He said, We have included several elements in Kingdom Hearts 3 to explain the story and get newcomers up to speed, the minimum required level of understanding, including a series of videos to explain the story so far at the start of the game. I would be delighted if people who played Kingdom Hearts 3 took an interest in the series overall and went back to playing the previous games as well. For what it's worth, if the game is good, you'll want to play the previous entries. So take your time with Kingdom Hearts 3, and if you find yourself in love with this universe, then you can consider getting the final remix edition which includes all the older games. Brand new gameplay One thing that bothers us about older Kingdom Hearts games is the fact that its gameplay is complex and doesn't fall along the lines of what we're used to nowadays. Luckily, Square Enix is aware of that, and they have revamped the whole fight system to make it more accessible, fast-paced, and fun for players to get into. Sora will be able to jump on enemies, wall run, move freely in battles, and generally be more versatile than you remember him. New Gameplay Features Apart from an overhauled fight system though, there are new features coming to Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. A few of Sora's new abilities have already been confirmed, and we'll take a quick look at them. For starters, we have Attraction Flow, which is a new type of super attack similar to the Final Fantasy Summon attacks. This attack type will include iconic Disney characters and will trigger in battle at certain types although the specifics are not yet clear. We also have Keyblade Transformations which let Sora change his Keyblade into another powerful artifact such as guns and more. The protagonist will also have the ability to unleash a special ability alone or with the help of his party members on enemies, which we'll have to wait to see in action when the game releases. There sure are more attacks and special abilities that will make battles more fun and interesting in Kingdom Hearts 3, but from what we already know, you'll have tons to uncover. Planned DLC Tetsuya Nomura has revealed during E3 2018 that Kingdom Hearts 3 will receive DLC post-launch, although a season pass is not in the works. Square Enix wants to further evolve the narrative of the series, meaning that future DLC will include story-driven content, and we might get the chance to see more worlds getting added to the game, if we're lucky. Good thing is that Kingdom Hearts can finally shine and get the most out of the current technological improvements for video games. Game length will be worth the price. Given the fact that Kingdom Hearts 3 is a core title and that it includes more than 10 different worlds to explore and many hours of cinematics to watch, we can expect that this isn't a pricey release. 
When you spend your hard-earned money on a title, the least you want is for it to be short and without any substance. According to a Square Enix representative, the game is roughly 40 to 50 hours long if you just focus on the main story, while tackling mini-games and extras will bring your playtime to 80 hours give or take. This is more than acceptable for a title of its caliber. Party Size As you might remember, Kingdom Hearts was always playable in a party of five. The main protagonist, Goofy and Donald. One of the latter would from time to time be replaced by the featured hero of the world you're in. However, things are changing in the upcoming title. The party size is now set to 5, meaning you have the freedom to change things up and try different lineups as you progress. It'll be fun to see if there will be overpowered teams appearing in guides after the big release. Space Fights What you'll find refreshing in Kingdom Hearts 3 is the fact that the gummy ship is back and better than ever. The cute little aircraft with which Sora travels between worlds not only makes an appearance in the game, but it is customizable and can roam freely like in an open world environment. There's not much we know about the gummy ship, but it's nice to see such an iconic detail making a comeback in the new game. This pretty much sums up what you need to know before buying Kingdom Hearts 3. Remember that the game releases on January 29th for the Xbox One and PlayStation. Have you bought it? What else have we missed? Let us know in the comments below and check out our latest videos for more news and guides on your favorite video games. I'll talk to you in the next video.